Let's uh, show you where it's at in reference to the car. Okay, so you come in right about the front door. Uh, uh, and it's under here a little bit. Right about the middle of the front door. Well, I've been working on this for a little while this morning here. And I got one clamp off and I got the other one partially off. There's three sections to the clamp. With this one, what I ended up doing is uh, breaking my punch for one because uh, it didn't want to come off. I got the bolt loose. As you can see, I got the bolt loose and got that out the way. And I took a punch and I stuck it. You can see the scar under this part of it. And I beat it and got it to move and broke the punch in the process, but I got one section loose. And I'd like to do it on this side also. Um, I'd like to keep the punch small as possible to get in there and kind of pry that open. I didn't want to use a screwdriver because break the tip, of course. And it's a bit, I think the screwdriver is a little bit big. And I've been using uh open and shut on it, spraying it, getting it lubed. Actually, this one, I got this first one off and I sprayed it down real nice with that open and shut. And I went in the house and I ate breakfast and I came back out and uh, wiggled it and it popped off. But this one is not being so easy. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's open and shut down in there, soaking it. I'm soaking the crap out of it. And I keep spraying it, as you can see. Soaking it, spraying it, soaking it. Uh, to try to get something in between there so that it'll come off. But the what's holding it on is Allen wrench. It's Allen, the clamp. It's held on by an Allen wrench. It is a, uh, let's see, five. Okay, the size is a, it's a metric number five. Metric number five Allen wrench for the clamps. And I sprayed them too before I started taking them off because I did not want those to break. You know how easy it is to break a bolt that size. It's not doesn't take much, but I'm still working on it. Uh, yeah. Two sides off. What I ended up doing to get that off, you saw how it was, is I took this, which is not actually a car part, a car tool, and I hooked it in right here and smacked the back of it with the hammer and uh, got it to move and it came open. I'm doing this, I'm trying not to break these clamps because I want to reuse them. I'm trying to do this for as inexpensively as possible. I'm not sure what those clamps cost, but it's a Volkswagen. Ah, I got it out. Yay. And that thing does not move. It should come this way. But it's not moving. So, what I'm going to do is take these two bolts off and disassemble it a little bit. Do a little bit of disassembly here. And, uh... So, I got that apart two bolts is what it was those two bolts that I showed you took those two out and now I have it in two pieces and so now I'm gonna work with it and get this um, 
gate to where it opens and closes like it's supposed to. Well, I just noticed, if you take a close look at this, okay, that uh, it's welded. And the uh, head of that screw is welded. So that's made to where it's not supposed to come apart. There's a Phillips screw there, but uh, I look at the other side and it looks like this is not designed to come apart because when you flip it, you got two tacks and that center is actually welded. Okay, what I'm doing to uh, free this up is I'm taking vinegar I have I have this little cap full of vinegar and this straw what I do is I dip the straw in the vinegar plug the end of it so that it holds it and then I put it on take my finger off and tap it a little bit and the vinegar comes out okay and then I take my little crescent wrench here and I work it back and forth because the vinegar what it'll do is it'll eat up the rust that's accumulated around the inside of it and then once I get all that out I don't know how I'm gonna get grease in there but uh, I'm gonna try to lube the crap out of it and then put it back on after I do the other side I'm gonna flip it over do the other side do the same thing on the other side and hopefully I get it freed up enough to where it moves like it's supposed to again and then I'll put it back on the car and see how long it works hopefully it works for a long time and it's not leaking all right well I got it to where it hits the spring and springs back by itself now I couldn't do this before at all. I couldn't move it with my hand. And it opens all the way, closes all the way. So now what I'm going to do that I got it moving free again is I'm going to put graphite where I put the vinegar before. I'm going to put a little bit of graphite in there and work that in. The graphite should keep it moving free. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do now. Back together. And it's working like it's supposed to. And so we'll see how long this lasts for before that code comes back. Well, as long as it works, I just saved myself a big chunk of money. Uh, before I put this back together I'm going to put some anti-seize on the inside of both of these clamps so that I don't have the issue that I had dealing with when I took it off put a little bit of anti-seize on there so hopefully uh, when I do this again if I have to do it again or replace it all together then I uh, won't have such a hard time getting these clamps off a little anti-seize and put it back together here we go coated the inside of it real nice with a little bit of anti-seize and we're going back together with it see that it goes in locks in and it doesn't turn you put it back together put it on turn it until you close that gap and uh, there you go When I tightened it up, I tightened it, and then you start to feel resistance. Um, once you start to feel it start to resist a bit, I go a little bit more and just stop. I didn't go crazy tightening on those clamps because I know what happens now. So I just got it nice, got it snug without going crazy and stopped. And now I'm going to take it for a test drive and see if the light goes off or... See how it does.